present and future of Android OS. In 2003, in California, USA, four friends started a small company together. Rich Miner, Nick Sears, Chris White and Andy Rubin wanted to develop software for digital cameras, enabling them to connect wirelessly to their owners' PCs and upload photos to an online space. Soon after, the market for digital cameras started showing signs of decline, but the founders of the newly formed Android Inc. weren't deterred. They simply decided to shift their focus to adapt, in the words of Andy Rubin, the exact same platform, the exact same operating system we built for cameras, to be used on mobile devices. In 2005, technology giant Google bought Android Inc., but their project remained a secret. In 2007, Apple released the first smartphone, causing Google to reveal that they were working on a similar project. In December of 2008, the first Android phone was released. Over the next 10 years, many versions of the Android operating system, OS, were released, each one with new improvements and features. Version 1.6 saw the first appearance of the gallery for users' pictures and videos. Version 4.0 introduced facial recognition technology to unlock the screen, and version 6.0 allowed users to unlock their phones with a fingerprint ID. By 2018, Android was the most popular operating system in the world, and not by a small margin. It held over 75% of the market share then, and that figure is still rising. The main reason for its popularity is the fact that Android is free, open-source software. This means that it can run on a huge variety of devices, and manufacturers can customize it to suit their products, which can then be sold at more affordable prices. In contrast, Google's main competitor in the smartphone market uses an operating system that only runs on two types of device. Another reason that the use of Android OS is so widespread is that it isn't limited to smartphones and tablets. It's also used for Google's wearable technology, artificial intelligence system, and as an operating system for the smart house concept, connecting mobile devices to your TV, lights, and thermostat. The technology industry is only going to get bigger in years to come, and if current trends stay the same, the majority of it will likely be powered by Android. So you had better get used to seeing that cute green robot logo, because he's not going anywhere.